Oh, the in place. Oh, definitely. Before they even knew what in places were. <laughs> Pig and whistle was a part of every teenager's life, and I'm talking about the early times. You, you were open in the 30s and then during the war. And it was at that time that I really knew a lot about it because high school, you know, after school and when you had dates, you'd go to the pig and whistle to enjoy not only the good food, but the good company if you had a date. And sometimes you wouldn't stop to eat. I'll tell you, you would ride around and see who all was there, look in the car, see if, you know, who he had a date with, or was you dating the fellow that I hoped would ask me. <laughs> so that was just part of the situation. But not only that, I personally uh, went a uh, few times with one of the teachers from the high school because they asked me to sell ads for the newspaper uh, at Miller High School. I wanted to, you know, write, but they said, oh no, you go sell ads. So I did, and the teacher that was in charge of me uh, would take me to the various places to go in and ask them, would they like to buy an ad in the A.L. Miller High School paper? <laughs> Some did. So every now and then she'd say to me, let's go to the pig. That was after we'd done our work. And so we'd go to the pig. And it was just really a fun place. But teenagers really were the ones. And later college, too, not just teenagers college. I remember hearing music car radios, not like today, not like today, not black, because you'd hear Sentimental Journey, or you'd hear Kiss Me Once, Kiss Me Twice, it's been a long, long time, you know, <laughs> from people maybe coming back from the war. You know? it, it was just the in place. Atlanta had their in place for this age group and the interest group. Macon was the pig, no doubt about it. Favorite menu item 